On hot days like today, I like to do two things. One, crack open a nice cold beer. And two, a nice bowl of chili. What, you never heard of air conditioning? Now in a six quart saucepan, let's turn the heat to high. And let's add about a tablespoon of oil. Once that heats up, add two pounds of coarse ground beef. If you can't find it, tell your butcher to coarse ground some sirloin. Then add one medium onion, chopped. Then add two jalapenos, also chopped. And let's get this straight, white people. It's pronounced jalapeno, not jalapeno. You are pretty much rubbing salt in the wound at this point. So as this cooks, break up the ground beef. And uh, we need to draw moisture away from the onions and jalapeno, so add about two tablespoons of salt. So as this cooks, break up the ground beef and cook it on high until all the moisture evaporates. Now I know you're supposed to drain out the meat, but you're going to lose some flavors. But be patient until most of the liquid has cooked off. Okay, when most of the liquid has been cooked off, drop the heat to medium low. Then grab two 12 ounce bottles of beer. One for the chili and one for the chef. Stir around so it's nice and deglazed. Then add one 16 ounce can of tomato sauce. One 16 ounce can of kidney beans drained. Two cups of beef broth. And our chili spices. What do they comprise of? Seatail presents CRJ's Chili Spices. A two box set with all the chili spices you know and love, like one tablespoon of chili powder, one tablespoon of cumin, a teaspoon and a half of Mexican oregano, two teaspoons of smoked paprika, a teaspoon and a half of black pepper, half a tablespoon of garlic powder, and a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. To order this amazing box set, dial the number and have your credit card ready. Call in the next 20 minutes, and you'll get a free copy of CRJ Sings the Oldies. Well, kinda, he couldn't get the rights to the song, so he had to find another way. I wanna take you down to Zambia I wanna do the things that I'm supposed to do Mix it all together. And finally, let's add our thickening agent. Just take half a cup of masa, add to a bowl, then add enough water until you get something that's the consistency of porridge. Mix it until it's well incorporated. Bring it to a boil. And once it starts boiling, reduce the heat down to a simmer and let it cook for 15 to 20 minutes while giving it an occasional stir. After 15 minutes, turn off the heat and put it in a bowl. Or put it on top of cheese fries. Or do what they do in Ohio. And put it on top of spaghetti. Mmm. Markiplier, Matt Pat, this is amazing. Why did you guys leave Ohio? This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun. And meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, smash the like button. Maybe uh, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Oh, I'd like to give a special thank you to my grandma who's holding this reflector right here. Give a round of applause, everyone. She helped make this video possible. <laughs>